Okay, um, I'm not sure how I feel about posting this video yet, but I feel for some reason some, some pull to do it, so I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna try and talk, and it might go a little long, and this might feel like a like an outtake of a TED Talk, like someone that got rejected from TED Talks, but that's okay. It's not supposed to be perfect. Um, while I have some people's attention um, with my art and being in Boston and doing some cool things, I... I want to be completely honest about my purpose with this. It's it's really cool to see major league players in in like the the flesh and blood right in front of you and be able to hand them your art. Um, but the true reason I'm doing this is is not just my passion for baseball and my hope to like do my favorite things, art and baseball, together on a large platform and and to make a living off of it. It's it's to prove to myself that um, my mental struggles don't have to define boundaries in my life. They don't have to limit how far I can go as much as they feel like they do sometimes. And um, I realize I put together most of the time, or a, you know, a put together successful person on on social media. But the truth is. I almost didn't go because I'm afraid to fly because I'm afraid I'll have a panic attack on a flight. Um, you know, I'm, I'm stressed because I spent money to get here and I'm worried that I won't make that back. And what if I fail? And, you know, the same things a lot of, a lot of people think, but it goes deeper than that. Um, struggling with panic attacks, anxiety and depression for ever, um, has, you know, had its drawbacks and I, I was thinking this morning to myself after having a really cool conversation with with um, a gentleman last night is why am I doing this like what's my goal and you know sure I'd love to have a house on the lake but but my bigger goal is that I want to prove to myself and anyone that's listening or watching my journey that has mental health struggles that that we can do it, that it's not, it doesn't have to define us. And while you might be in fear the entire process and be uneasy the entire process, if you keep taking steps forward, um, you'll get there. And I'm not there yet, but my whole purpose and what I'm doing is not just about getting to meet so-and-so and and hand my art to so-and-so and, and, you know, maybe bring in some income that makes me more comfortable. It's, It's about proving to myself most importantly, but also hopefully being an example to others that, yeah, there's days where I'm sure you've called in sick to work because you just, you can't do it. You can't get out of bed. You're too, you're too anxious. You're too depressed. Your panic attack won't subside. Um, But that, that doesn't define you. A bad day doesn't mean a bad life. Um, it might feel like it. Uh, I hear it all the time. I feel it all the time. Um, but you know, there's still this stigma around mental health that we're less than, or if you have schizophrenia, bipolar, um, OCD, PTSD, or whatever, whatever it might be that, um, you know, life is going to be a struggle forever. And that's a really daunting feeling. And, and I have it too, but, um, I want to be a, a my biggest goal with what I'm doing is, is not to meet MLB players. It's to be a bright light for hopefully um, people that are are in the trenches right now, just trying to survive. Um, to trust that that they're going to be okay. That that we can still do great things, even though up here is such a mess that you know little things just feel insurmountable like it I wanted to read I wanted to reiterate my purpose really um and uh yeah it's it's why I donate to mental health organizations with some of my proceeds um it's why I've tried to be honest um at times throughout my journey that I struggle with it I think it is really important to not forget those that are struggling with mental health even if you just don't understand it. Um, I want to be someone that is admired, but is honest that I'm not perfect and that 
I struggle most days and that getting to Boston to experience something was not like, I can't sleep the night before, I'm so excited. It was, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, the whole way up. How am I gonna get on the plane? Is it okay to spend this money? Am I gonna make this money back? Am I gonna fail? Am I gonna be homeless? It, I mean, irrational, but a whole bunch of thoughts to the point where I was almost crippled with anxiety right before my flight and almost couldn't get on. Um, it's not perfect. I'm not living a perfect life by any means, but if there's anything I want out of everything I'm doing, it's not success or fame. That would be cool, I think. But it's, I just want to be an example and I want to be inspiration to anyone that feels like they were born with something up here that's a little bit different. This different doesn't have to be a downfall. Um, we can harness it. We can, we can harness it for potential. Um, you can take the anxiety you have over failing or the OCD you have about certain things or, you know, I realize there's more serious mental health issues, but, you know, you can harness some of that and make it your strength, make it your thing, make it what sets you apart from other people. There are so many artists out there that can create amazing art better than I can. And I'm not saying that so everyone jumps on and says, oh no, you're great. I, I, I don't need that, I get it. There's better artists out there. Um, I wanna be the artist that people know that is honest about the struggles I have, that is inspirational to those that are struggling too, and that hopefully, hopefully I achieve my goals along the way and that I'm okay. Um, and being okay looks different for a lot of people and, and you know, it takes some vulnerability to say this, but being okay for me looks like therapy three times a week and medication. And I used to be ashamed of that and I, I would never imagine shouting that out to, you know, whoever watches this video on my social media, but, um, it's okay to not be okay. You can still be successful and follow your dreams if you're not okay. It's okay if you have a setback for a day, a week, a month, two years, five years. Um, you know, keep putting one foot forward. Um, there's hope out there and and this this brain that sometimes I wanna like get a new one, um, also has some positives and I just I just want to remind anyone that's struggling with mental health that some of your isms as I like to call them some of your some of your what I feel like I call myself are like glitches like where something gets stuck and I just can't be normal like everyone else and and relax um I think is gonna I think has um a unique ability to push me forward too um and if nothing else I hope that I can uh I hope with what I'm doing, um, not just with financial contribution, but with, with open honesty and vulnerability, I can inspire others who are, who feel like they're different or don't quite fit in because they think different or they get stuck on thoughts or, you know, some mornings they just do not know how the hell they're going to get from point A to point B, A being the bed, B being work or B being school or B being whatever, um, that it's okay that you have those bad days and that um, there's gonna be good ones too. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm headed out to the field today. I hope it goes well. Um, I've got a lot of art to hand out and um, I just wanna to share this video and, and remind myself and remind others of, of the real purpose behind what I'm doing this for. It's, um, yeah, so there you go, that's all. By the way, it's hot as balls here. I have not stopped sweating since I landed like two days ago. I know I'm in a sweatshirt, it's because I turned the AC up in, up in this, this hotel to a point that's probably not environmentally friendly, but I just wanted to remember what it feels like to wear a sweatshirt and not sweat through it. So I'm gonna take this off and go outside and go back to sweating. Um, hope you all have a great day, bye.